Life Adventure News. Dozens of people are reported dead now. Hundreds of people still trapped in that rubble. The quake hit just before 1 p.m. Tuesday local time, 7 p.m. on the East Coast, and was centered just a few miles from Christ Church. It toppled buildings, cracked roads, knocked out phone lines. At least 65 people were killed at that point. Thousands were already made homeless. The three main welfare centers are already filling up, and about 1,200 people have taken refuge at Addington Raceway. That's a horse track right there in Christchurch. Now, the hospital is operational, but only for emergencies, while dozens of life flights have transported the injured to cities just outside the quake zone. Gary Denver is a reporter for New Zealand's News Talk ZB. He joins us now on the phone from Auckland. So, Gary, what's the latest from there? Yeah, hi, Kira. Look, um, we're still sitting at this stage with a, a death toll of uh, 65, but we expect that to be revised upward uh, probably uh, after daylight. Uh, the search and rescue staff are still out uh, trying to dig through the rubble looking for more survivors. Uh, they've uh, pulled 120 people from the rubble since that uh, announcement of uh, 65 dead, 120 people alive from the rubble. So there is some good news stories coming out, but... Um, there's still a significant number of people, uh, unclear exactly how many, who are unaccounted for at this stage. So now, how would you describe the damage? We're seeing some, some video here of, of some buildings. It looks like the main center there of, of Christ Church. Uh, we're actually watching some, some of the buildings toppled, uh, be, come toppling down. It was caught uh, on, uh, on phones uh, there in, in Christ Church. But how significant is the damage? What types of buildings, types, is it just downtown? Oh, it's uh, devastated uh, quite a bit of the region. The, the, the central city has certainly been hit the hardest. Um, uh, some, some buildings, and it, look, the, the quake hasn't um, been particularly fussy on the buildings. Some of the older buildings have come down, but there's also been some new buildings which have been affected. Uh, they've collapsed like uh, decks of playing cards. It's incredible, uh, the, the devastation. And um, it's uh, the hardest thing, I guess, for the, for the residents is that it comes just five months after they were hit by a 7.1 magnitude quake. Uh, that's probably the reason for um, so much damage. The buildings were weakened by that 7.1 quake uh, five months ago, and now the 6.3 quake, which was um, much closer to the city and a lot shallower at five kilometres uh, deep, uh, has caused such destruction, and um, it's a devastating blow for the residents. Well, Gary Denver is a reporter for New Zealand's News Talk ZB. Gary, we'll keep talking. Appreciate you calling in. Thanks so much.